Happy Thursday, June 9th, 2022. Major distractions going on at my feet. Two dogs running around. You might see them in the background. We'll see what happens. I might have to chase them down. Absolutely ridiculous. This is what happens when you have two puppies. Different breeds. I want to talk a little bit about Litecoin and PayPal today. PayPal announced just, what, two days ago, I think it was, that they are going to allow you to send Litecoin and three other coins, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum, allow you to send that into your PayPal account. So you can buy it. You've been able to buy it on PayPal. There you go, right there. You've been able to buy it on PayPal. Looks like a little black rat running around. You can buy it on PayPal, and you have been able to do that for a long time, but you couldn't sell it, or I should say, you could not transfer it out of your account. So essentially, it was held on your account, kind of like a derivative almost, you could hold it into your account. You could watch the price go up and down. You could sell it back into PayPal and they would give you cash to your account, you know, US dollars to your account or whatever currency that you've got. But you couldn't take that Litecoin and send it off of PayPal. So you really didn't have custody of it. You really didn't hold it in your own possession. You know, they're just kind of giving you like Robin Hood does. You know, Robin Hood's an exchange that's very popular. A lot of people, they got into Robin Hood and bought Dogecoin last year. They think they bought Dogecoin. The thing is, you can't transfer it off. So do you really have the Dogecoin? It's like buying, hey, I'm going to go buy some physical silver. And you buy it, and then they warehouse it for you. You can't take delivery of it. Kind of a problem when you need it. It's the same with Litecoin on PayPal. You could buy it. You could see it there. You could watch the price go up and down. You could sell it at any point, but you could never take delivery of it. Well, now they're rolling it out, PayPal is, to where you can actually take custody, take delivery of that Litecoin, which is a big deal. Now, it's just for select U.S. customers right now over the coming weeks. They're going to roll it out for everybody. That's the, way, that's the way it was when they first started selling cryptocurrency on that platform. I wasn't one of the first ones. I had to wait, and I'm like, what the heck? You know, why can't I buy it? And after a few weeks, boom, there it was. So it's going to be the same thing, I would think. That's a big deal. Because that is a major payment processor a lot of people use. You know, if you've ever bought anything off eBay, you're using PayPal. Make payments, you know, you can send it to each other, send it to people. Um, you have a PayPal.me address. A lot of businesses use that. Now you can buy, well, you can buy it now. But now you can not only buy cryptocurrency on it, you can also take that cryptocurrency and put it into your own wallet. Now you can do that with Cash App, but it's only Bitcoin. You can buy the Bitcoin, you can hold the Bitcoin on there, you know, in a wallet, you know, that they have custody of. Uh, you can sell it back to them on there, and you can also withdraw it to your own address on your own private wallet, on your own custody, into your own custody. You're going to be able to do that now with Litecoin on PayPal. That's a major signal for adoption. That, that allows pretty much anybody, a lot of people have PayPal accounts, to where you can... I mean, you've got, you've got all the things connected at that point because PayPal will link to your bank, it'll link to credit cards, it'll link to debit cards. And now you can not only have cryptocurrency on there, but you can exchange it back and forth into the old system, into the new system. So it's a great transitional bridge from the old system to the new system. And when I say the new system, I mean the cryptocurrency system. The system that's completely digital, decentralized, allows you to hold your own money outside of a government, outside of a central bank. That's what true cryptocurrency is. You're going to be able to do that now. That tells me, even though you see low prices on cryptocurrencies right now, that it's look at this as a major opportunity to acquire those, to have possession of those and get them for a good price. Use less U.S. dollars to get them. Unlike gasoline, where it takes more U.S. dollars to get them, to get it. This is a gift. This allows you to acquire more of these assets and Anytime you can do that at a lower cost, that's the time to do it. So it tells me that the price is just going to have to go up because you're going to have more demand. You're going to have more people being able to acquire it, being able to purchase it, being able to take possession of it. And by taking possession of it, what's that mean? Well, they can't freeze it up. And PayPal's done this. They've frozen people's accounts. I'm like, well, you know, we have to flag it. We have to... Have you seen any dogs running around? I don't see them. There's one. Who knows where they went? Go watch them. May have to end the video. But it's a very important thing because it allows you to, there's a finite supply of Litecoin. 
There's only 70 million that have been mined right now and 84 million total that can ever be mined. Well, you can get a piece of that in an easy way. See, there she goes, look, 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 look. You can get a piece of that in an easy way and you can take possession of that and transfer that off. So I, and you're gonna be able to pay with it. So you'll be able to hold cryptocurrencies or transfer cryptocurrencies in and they have a PayPal card. You'll be able to spend those cryptocurrencies in essence by transferring them in and boom, converting them to US dollars or probably just spending them directly from that crypto account and purchasing things on eBay or purchasing things anywhere because it's a, I think it's a Visa account, a Visa card tied to your PayPal account to where you can actually go and spend it at any merchant that takes Visa. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. So if you think that the crypto market's just gonna continue to go down, it's not because things like this make it more useful, make it more accessible to a lot of people who, well, how do I get crypto? Um, I gotta sign up for this, sign up for that. A lot of people already have PayPal and Venmo is a PayPal company. A lot of people have Venmo and you can purchase cryptocurrencies on there too, just like you can on PayPal. But again, you can't transfer them off. So how long is it before you can do it on Venmo? It's gonna make it so much easier to use this new asset in the existing infrastructure. Big deal, a very big deal. Wanted to speak to that today. I also wanna throw out that here we are, eight days away from a meetup in Peoria, Illinois, where Litecoin Lisa and I will be doing a live happy hour show at the Peoria Pizza Works. Check out my website, clintwestwood.net for all the details. There's a big link at the top, happy hour uh, road show. Click on that, it's got all the details. Starts at three o'clock, um, the live show starts at four o'clock, goes to five or five o'clock or so. After that, we're gonna be hanging out there and talking about cryptocurrency, talking about freedom. It's a great place to meet like-minded people. Very important to come to these meetups. So if, I know the cost of gas is high, but <coughs> I gotta watch these dogs. Cost of gas might be high, but it's important to get there. It's important to meet these like-minded people and build these relationships. Most of the people I've met, I've met them through meetups. You know, I talk to them on Twitter, this and that, and then when you get meet to face to face, I mean, it's just, it's an important thing. It really is. That's how we carry this thing forward. This is how we build the relationships and the, the new community that's gonna put the pieces back together after all these clowns have torn it all down and destroyed it. And that's what they're doing. Engineered destruction, destruction by design. You can't think that this isn't on purpose. So we gotta find tools, we gotta find people with tools, people with like-minded people, come together, meet each other so that we can build these relationships so that we can move forward and we can escape this. We don't wanna be a part of this forever. We gotta save ourselves. Trust yourself, if you have any thinking, any gut feeling that you need to come to this meetup next week, June 17th in Peoria, Illinois, get there. All right, love y'all, trust yourselves. Have a good day.